of this course is rock, paper, scissors. And, and really what we're trying to do with this course is, you know, when, you, when we talk about the periodontal systemic interrelationship, we always talk about how periodontal diseases cause um, or contribute to diseases somewhere else in the body. The, the field has advanced a lot, but we periodontists don't always think about how other systemic diseases can actually impact periodontal health. So this, my, my course is really targeted to it's looking at that two-way street, you know, it's a bi-directional relationship. So while period disease does impact systemic health, systemic health has a big role to play in how periodontal diseases uh, occur and how periodontal health is impacted. And we as periodontists are primarily good at that. We can treat perio health and, and perio disease and bring a patient back to health and so understanding how systemic diseases impact perio health is going to be huge for the periodontist and the periodontal practitioner. Our patients are not systemically healthy. They, they come to us with rheumatoid arthritis. They've been treated for rheumatoid arthritis. Some of them are controlled diabetics and some of them don't even know they have diabetes. Many of, them are, many of them are hypertensive, they've been treated for cardiovascular disease, and all of these things impact their systemic, their periodontal health. So the big question is, many of them are pregnant, you know, you know, and we see them. So, so when do we treat them? What, what effect does the systemic disease play on their periodontal health? How does it, why does it cause periodontal disease? Should we treat all these patients as the same? Should everyone receive root planing alone? Should everyone receive scaling? Should everyone receive antimicrobial therapy? Or, or is this the time you know, to treat these, to, to go, come into the era of personalized medicine and to treat these as individuals and to assess their individual needs and to go from there? So that is really what we're trying to get at with this presentation. And I think a, a practitioner will take home some important um, information on how they can address the individual needs of their patient, looking at a more holistic view of the patient, I suppose.